Sportsverse allows you to create and manage any kind of event your team participates in. Whether it's games, meets, or matches, even barbecues and fundraisers, you can schedule them all through the event page. Now that we have created all the details we need, we can start creating new events by clicking Add New. We can leave the title section blank since the title of the event will be automatically generated for us based on the teams we select from the team section. The format of our event can either be competitive or friendly. If we want our event to count towards our league table, we'll want to select the competitive format, which will be selected by default. If it's a training session or a friendly match that doesn't count towards our league table, we can always select the friendly format. This format can also be used for fundraisers and barbecue type events as well. For this example, let's select competitive. In this demonstration, I've selected the soccer preset, so automatically the event is set to be 90 minutes long, but let's say that we had five minutes of overtime, so we can override this value and type in 95 minutes. Next, we'll need to select the competition and season from the drop-down menu. We can either select a venue or leave it as auto because SportsPress will automatically select the venue based on the home team of this event. Let's scroll down a bit more and select the teams. Let's select Essendon Eagles as the home team and Kensington Kangaroos as the away team. We'll notice that a list of players has appeared for each team. An important thing to mention is that these teams are not only in these teams, but also must be participating in the season and competition that we've selected. Rather than displaying all of the players in any given team, SportsPress makes it easy for us to filter through our players by narrowing down your search by team, competitions, and seasons. If we need to borrow a player from a different team, season, or competition, we can click the Show All link to display the entire list of players. For example, let's say the Kangaroos need to borrow Finn from the Eagles. We can uncheck Finn from the Eagles and click the Show All button under the Kangaroos to display the full list of players where we'll find Finn. Let's select a few more players so each team has an equal number of players. Click on the Staff tab to select our staff members for each team. We can select a featured image, but this will only work for WordPress themes that support this. Of course, this won't be a problem since we're using the SportsPress compatible rookie theme. We can also add a video, which will be displayed at the very top of the event page. Let's go ahead and paste in a link from YouTube. Now that we're ready to schedule the event, let's scroll back up to the very top where we'll find the event section. If you're familiar with WordPress, scheduling an event is exactly the same way as creating a new post. The time and date will default to the current time, but let's say that this event is happening tomorrow at 6 p.m. WordPress uses a 24-hour clock, so I'm going to enter 6 p.m. in military time, which is 1800 hours. Let's click OK to schedule the event. We can see that the title was auto-generated, the home team, VS, which is the delimiter, and the away team. We can change this delimiter to anything we like in the SportsRest settings page, and when these titles are populated, it will use the delimiter we create. But for now, we're going to keep it as VS. We'll also notice that there are a lot of new things that are showing up here, like event results and player performance. If we keep scrolling down, we'll notice that the venue has been automatically selected based on the home team's home venue, which we can change or assign a different venue by editing it in the team's page. Let's go see this event by clicking the View Event button. We'll see the title, details, and the two logos of the teams playing. Here we see the venue map and the players, their player numbers, and their names. 